Gas welding. Gas welding is a welding process that melts and joins metals by heating them with a flame caused by a reaction of fuel gas and oxygen. The most commonly used method is oxyacetylene welding due to its high flame temperature. In this video we will cover the following about gas welding. Equipments of oxyacetylene welding. Working. Advantages. Disadvantages. And applications. If you are new to this channel click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so that you will never miss an update. Gas welding equipments. Cylinders. In gas welding, there are two cylinders. One is a fuel gas and is of maroon color. The second one is oxygen gas and is black color. Oxygen and acetylene are stored under pressure in a steel cylinder. They are seized by the amount of oxygen or acetylene that they hold. Cylinders should always be secured and used in the upright position. When a cylinder is not being used the valve cap should always be in place. Oxygen cylinders. They contain compressed oxygen at high pressure that can be as high as 2200 psi. All cylinders have valves and are fitted with a screw on steel cap that protects the cylinder valve when the cylinder is not in use. Acetylene cylinders. These cylinders contain acetylene under pressure made of steel and have cylinder valves. The cylinders contain porous filler material, which is fitted with acetone, that allows the acetylene to be safely be contained in the cylinder at 250 psi. Acetylene should never be used at a pressure that exceeds 15 psi, as it becomes highly unstable which depending upon the condition could cause it to decompose and explode. Pressure regulators. For welding, the oxygen and acetylene are required at low pressure, but in the cylinders, they are filled in high pressure. So a pressure regulator is required to control the pressure of oxygen and acetylene before reaching the mixing chamber. Torch. The torch consists of the handle, oxygen and the fuel gas valves, and the mixing chamber. Inside the handle, there are tubes through which the oxygen and fuel gas flow. Mixing chamber. In this chamber oxygen and fuel gas are mixed. In this mixing chamber, the ratio of oxygen and fuel gas is mixed according to the type of flame required such as neutral, oxidizing or carburizing flame. Control valves. There are two control valves available in this torch. One is for the oxygen and the second one is for fuel gas. These control valves are used to control the flow of oxygen or fuel gas to the mixing chamber. Gas hoses. The gas hoses are used to transfer oxygen and fuel gas from the cylinder to the welding torch. These hoses are color-coded for easy identification. This color coding varies from country to country. Nozzle. The mixture of oxygen and acetylene comes out of this nozzle. The mixture of these gases comes out in pressure from the nozzle and then is ignited by the striker. Goggles and gloves. In gas welding goggles and gloves are used for the safety of the operator who does welding. They are used to protect the hand and eyes of the welding operator from radiation and heat of the flame. Working of gas welding. At first, all the equipment of gas welding is fitted properly and carefully. After that, a regulated pressure of gas and oxygen supplied to the torch where they are properly mixed. The mixture of fuel gas and oxygen is then ignited by the striker. Then the flame of the torch is controlled by different valves present in the welding torch. Based on the type of flame required, the valves are operated accordingly. If the neutral flame is required, then both the valves are opened equally. If the oxidizing flame is required, then the valve of oxygen is opened more. And if the carburizing flame is required, then the valve of the fuel gas is opened more. The flame is set as neutral, oxidizing, and carburizing based on the metal, its thickness, and some other welding conditions. If you want to know about types of flames in detail, the link will be provided in the description of this video. After that, the flame of the welding torch is moved along the line between the two metal plates. Along with the metal plates, a filler rod is also used which is used to create a pool of molten material that will fill the gap between the two metal plates interface. The filler rod is moved along with the flame. The filler rod is kept at an angle of 30 degrees to 40 degrees, according to the welding technique being used. After moving the flame and filler rod along the line of two metal plates interface, the two metal plates join together because of the melting and solidification of metal plates interface and the filler rod. Advantages of gas welding. 1. It is easily portable. 2. It is very less expensive and very affordable. 3. It can be easily maintained and repaired. 4. It is a very simple piece of equipment. 5. 
it is self-sufficient and does not rely on other equipment. Disadvantages of gas welding. 1. The metal joining rate is very slow, so the welding speed is low. 2. A skilled operator is required to operate this machine. 3. The power density is low. 4. The heat affected zone is large. 5. Gas welding is not recommended for welding reactive and refractory metals, like titanium and zirconium. Applications of gas welding. 1. Used for joining thin materials. 2. Used for joining ferrous and non-ferrous materials. 3. Gas welding is used in sheet metal fabrication. 4. It is used in aircraft industries. If you like this video, click on the like button, and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing this channel to get all the latest updates.